The Texas law known as SB 8 would ban most abortions at about six weeks. The U.S. Supreme Court will embark Monday on the first chapter of a legal saga over abortion that could see the nationwide right to the procedure sharply limited in coming months. It will mark a fresh legal look at a socially divisive issue, with a 6-3 conservative high court majority poised for a politically charged ruling. The justices over the next month will hear separate challenges to restrictions on abortion access enacted by Mississippi, with its ban after 15 weeks of pregnancy, and Texas, with a more restrictive six-week ban. The Texas dispute will be heard first, in two hours of oral arguments Monday, which will be more procedural in nature, and not likely to address the key question of whether the state law's restrictions on most abortions are constitutional. That high-stakes debate will happen December 1, when Mississippi's law will be argued before the nine justices. The state wants key Supreme Court precedents permitting abortions, known as Roe 1973, and Casey 1992, struck down entirely. The opportunity for a sweeping pivot on abortion, at a time when the high court's own reputation and legitimacy is threatened, could be tempered by an unpredictable, cautious court that has shown it is not always eager to speak along sharp ideological lines. That may produce split rulings, with uncertain lasting impact. I'm sure that the Chief Justice would rather go fairly slowly. That tends to be his inclination in these situations, said Paul Smith, a Georgetown University law professor and appellate attorney who has argued frequently before the justices. But there will be some justices who are impatient to get to the final determination of the validity of Roe. I could imagine a situation where you have three liberals saying those should be upheld, three saying we don't need to address that question yet, and three saying it obviously should be overruled. Besides Chief Justice John Roberts, much of the focus at arguments will be on two of former President Donald Trump's picks, Justices Brett Kavanaugh and Amy Coney Barrett. Their questioning of counsel could signal whether a compromise approach is possible. Texas two-step. The Texas law known as SB 8 would ban most abortions at about six weeks, when a fetal heartbeat may be detected. The High Court for now will keep the statute in effect while legal challenges continue in lower courts. Many of the roughly two dozen abortion clinics in Texas say they have turned away patients, forcing some women to go out of state for the procedure, or unwillingly continue their pregnancy. GOP Governor Greg Abbott signed it into law this spring, and while it allows abortions for medical emergencies, there are no exceptions for rape or incest. Similar laws in other states have been passed, or are awaiting enactment, depending on what the Supreme Court ultimately decides. Two separate arguments will be held back-to-back -back on the Texas dispute, just 10 days after the High Court granted review. The breakneck pace with which the justices are confronting the issue is a sign that they recognize the high stakes involved. Mississippi Stakes the more direct challenge to abortion rights lies in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, which will be presented to the justices exactly a month after the Texas cases. At issue, whether all pre-viability prohibitions on elective abortions are unconstitutional. Mississippi officials are boldly asking the court to overturn its 1973 Roe v. Wade precedent, under which abortions are legal nationwide until about the 24th week, the point of viability where the fetus can survive outside the womb. Lower courts have blocked that and a subsequent state law banning abortion after six weeks. The state's only remaining abortion clinic, backed by the Biden administration, has asked the court to uphold Roe and invalidate the Mississippi law. A Fox News poll out in late September showed that 65% of Americans favor keeping Roe as the law of the land. That includes, for the first time in the survey, a majority of Republicans. Just 28% want the ruling overturned. Handicapping how this court will rule on abortion might start with a look back at what some of the justices have said on the issue. The court's strongest proponent for overturning abortion precedent may be Clarence Thomas, the senior associate justice. On the other side, Justice Elena Kagan has been a forceful advocate of stare decisis, the legal concept of respect for judicial precedents, which proponents say fosters clear societal expectations and judicial integrity. 
In a September 1 dissent when the Texas law was first allowed to go into effect by the High Court, Kagan criticized its intent, saying it prohibits abortions for the vast majority of women who seek them, in clear, and indeed undisputed, conflict with Roe and Casey. 